First thing we want to do is grab the clips that we want to work with. I've already brought my clips down to the timeline to save some time. Uh, this time lapse that I have right here of the sky, I bought off one of these stock video websites. I think I paid like three or four dollars from it. I'm not going to plug any of the websites because I am not monetized. Uh, this first clip right here, I'm just going to drag on top of the sky. Now this clip is really easy to use because there's a lot of shadows and a lot of highlights so the computer will really just know exactly what I want to get done. So once it's up there, go over to your effects tab, select keyer and grab your, or, I'm sorry, keying and grab your keyer. Drag it onto the clip, come up to your inspector tab, hit sample color and we're just going to draw a box trying to grab all of the highlights out of the clip. Notice I did have some white right down over here. I made sure I drug the box so that was already done. Um, the way this star, these stars are covering the entire clip right here, in other clips that you may be using, it won't do that. It's only doing that in my clip because these were all shadows, but don't worry about that. It's easy to get rid of. All right, just go back up to your inspector now. Grab the strength slider and just slide it down until all the stars are off the rocks. Don't worry about this area right here and this area right here. We will fix that with these sliders. Well, these sliders, we're not going to use those today, but if you had a subject with white stripes or blonde hair, these stars would be covering their hair and you would just slide these sliders to figure that out. But with this one, we're going to go to the mat tools and we're just going to bring the blacks up until all that is covered and there's no more white line all the way around there. And that's it for the sky replacement. I mean, that is done, but what I don't like is how this sky is a little too oversaturated. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the mix slider and just slide the mix down a little bit and lighten it up so it looks a little bit, uh, just so it looks just a little bit better. And you can see even the strap to the camera is still showing. Uh, once that's complete, you can select both clips, double click, make a new compound clip, and who cares what you name it. And there you go. That's the first way of doing a sky replacement. Super easy. All right, this next one, like I said, guys, it's still easy, but just takes a little more work. So what I like to do on this one, let's move the star out of the way. Because this is a day to night transition, we're going to use the day to night effect within Final Cut. So just go up to select all. Let me pull my. Go to search. Just hit day, day to night comes right up. Drag it onto your clip. And now we're going to keyframe a day to night effect. Go back up to your inspector. Turn the amount all the way down. Select the keyframe. And just drag it to where you want it to turn tonight. And I say right about there. And I'm going to drag it up. And boom, there we go. We have the day tonight. Next thing you want to do is grab the star. Throw it on top this time instead of below. Go over here and lower the opacity so you can see what's underneath it. And then go to your mask. Draw mask. Draw it, drag it to your to your clip and just start drawing a mask right then don't worry about how accurate this is I'm actually not going to go too accurate because it's just sake of time for this tutorial once you have your mask drawn go over here and hit the invert button and then just feather it down all right once that is done now we are going to copy the bottom clip command C and then command V to paste it and drag it on top. And now this next one we're going to do is back up to the keying tab in your effects panel. And now we're going to grab the luma keyer. Drag the luma keyer over. And now we are going to use the sliders right here to
And right there, I think that looks pretty good right there. We get a little banding. Let's see what you can do to go to the mat tools. If you see the banding we have right there coming over, you can just go to the mat tools and you can work the blacks up a little bit. And there we go, guys. That's it. Now, if more stars were coming over the shirt or whatever, all you would really have to do is just mess with these fill hole sliders and the mat sliders or whatever. Pretty easy, just messing with those sliders a little bit. You can get it more accurate like this, but for sake of the time for the tutorial, I just want to show you guys the basics to get it done. That's all I have for you guys. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider uh, subscribing. Thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Oh,